as a farmer and somebody who prides himself in, in doing a, a really great job on, on the production side, uh, it is nice for me to see this connection that we make between production and consumption. Uh, and particularly uh, in, in a time when we don't make a distinction between whether you can afford the access or not, we want you to have access. In Pennsylvania, there are twice as many people who are food insecure as we have hunters. 1.6 million Pennsylvanians every day uh, need some access to, a uh, need for some assistance on food. I, and I, proud to live in a commonwealth where that is an important part of our public policy. Uh, it really is a good feeling to step in here and to see the work uh, that's done on, on the behalf of the citizens of Pennsylvania every day uh, to make sure that the issue of food access uh, and hunger is a priority. At the simple act of sharing, uh, the hunters sharing the harvest, uh, the words are powerful, the words are meaningful, uh, they're very simple, right? It's about sharing that harvest that we, uh, we have in Pennsylvania in so many ways with uh, hunters uh, supplying uh, resources to, uh, to those at risk of hunger. It's the individual actions we take that arrive at this uh, not having to talk about 1.6 million people who need food, right? Uh, we, want to, we want to stop that. We want to eliminate that. Uh, and that's our collective action. How do you do it? You do it with you know, hunters uh, across the state donating venison. You do it with farmers who are you know, donating product across the state. You do it with a strategy that the governor's laid out with the blueprint to end hunger. You do it with individuals sharing. There are 1.6 million Pennsylvanians who are struggling with hunger every day, and half a million of them are children. And it's, it's fitting that we have someone from Penn State here today, because when you think about half a million children, that would be like filling Beaver Stadium five times with the amount of children who need support and need the nutrition in order to learn and live a healthy lifestyle. You know, on behalf of our hunters, uh, Board of Commissioners, the Pennsylvania Game Commission, I can't tell you how we honored and pleased we are to partner with Hunter Sharing a Harvest and that we can play a role in fulfilling the mission goals of this important banner right behind us. Thanks to Hunter Sharing a Harvest and its partners and our hunters, we're able to get high quality, free range, organic venison in the hands of people that need it. Um, and it's good, healthy, tasty meat. Here we expect a banner year again from our hunters. We have a healthy deer population. Last year, 100 and, over 163,000 bucks alone were harvested, and that's the second highest harvest since 2002 in the top 10 overall for the Commonwealth. You look at last year's total deer harvest of over 367,000 deer. That is estimated about 14 million pounds of venison. If every single hunter donated their deer and you have 1.6 million people that rely on the food bank system for support, it gives you an, really some insight on the impact these food banks have and the need that's out there in these local communities. That's if every single deer hunter donated their deer, and that's a lot of deer. Uh, this is very important to us. Uh, that venison that we receive through the program is in great demand from folks in need in central Pennsylvania. Uh, we'd love to have even more this year. The Honorable Russell Reddy. Hey, Craig, thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it, is, it is great to see you. Uh, Senator Toomey, uh, I want to say thanks. Representative Pashinsky, thank you. Uh, always appreciate the partnership with our elected leaders in Congress and uh, uh, in our House uh, and Senate here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'd like to talk about what we do as a... Governor's lead, we're getting too fired up about next month. But we want to thank all of you folks for what you do to help us out. I know it's... Thank you. <laughs> I want to say thank you for inviting me. I hope that I can gain a substantial amount of information. This is an extraordinary information as to the difficulties that hunters, coordinators, processors are having, and also at the policy. And our beloved chairman, 
Scott was up first. Well, that's all right. Hang in there. to get it spread out as uh, economically and equitably as possible through the 5,000 food banks and food pantries in Pennsylvania. Deliver on that, and he has an extra gear to turn it into any of our butcher shops across Pennsylvania, of which we worked very hard to have even more. With, with the food distribution. I have to say it was very emotional for me seeing a number of people that come out in the snow uh, just to receive food. Kids stand up. This is Valerie Cooper. She she took Allison's place for Seneca, and Seneca is a major uh, partner of ours. Classic in association with the Penn State Football Letterman's Club, and because it's football season, and because a few of us here in the room went to Penn State, um, I think it's they cover so many counties, and they are picking up our donated meat from the New York chapters that supported this program. In there's eight of that, and we try to have all eight on board as much as possible. Pat Henderson is here, one of two Hendersons. Matt Henderson is here, too. And Joe Archer, of course, such a person in food. A couple of nice boxes to build it off it. So uh, uh, we appreciate uh, your support. If you have an opportunity to come up and see you, and you have to give you a private tour of the store. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for this. Back to acknowledgements. Matt Ho, back there.